Hey guys, Deutschbag here, and today we're going to be setting up our very own Hurt World server. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do with a uh, Hurt World server is go out to um, any directory that you want to actually, uh, or where you want to store your server. So I just have my iDrive here, like I, I usually have. And we are going to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we're going to create a new folder and we're just going to call it uh, Hurt World Server. Very easy. Um, I'll have links in the description for everything. And again, I'll have a download for the, the entire uh, server at the end of this. So uh, you'll be able to download it directly from me if you'd like. Uh, however, you will need Steam CMD for this. Now, in almost all of my server tutorials we're going to be using Steam CMD so I always have a copy laying around but again I'll provide the uh, download link in the, the description um, I just like to put Steam CMD right in my uh, right in the server directory makes things uh, clean easier and we are going to open up Steam CMD once you get into Steam CMD uh, like usual you will log in anonymous and then we need to set up our install directory so to do that, you're going to do force underscore install underscore dir, and then um, whatever your you want to put in whatever your uh, wherever your directory is. So mine is just on my iDrive, and then I have a folder called uh, Hurt World Server. So just to show you what I'm talking about, we got my iDrive, and then the Hurt World Server. Not too difficult. Um, Cool. What did I type wrong? Because <laughs> that ah force should probably type that correctly. That will help. Okay. So now we have set up our directory, and then we actually need to download the application or the uh, the server. So for uh, Hurt World specifically, we're going to do app underscore update. And then the app ID is four zero five one zero zero. And we want to validate and make sure that all of our files are um, all of our files are intact at the end of this. And you'll you'll see uh, as this is downloading here, this is actually a pretty small server. Um, if any of you have watched my my Arc server tutorial, Arc takes a little while to download. So this one this one's pretty speedy in comparison. Uh, while this finishes up, we'll just uh, take a quick break, and I will uh, I'll come back when it's ready. All right, and we're back, and we're just finishing up the uh, install here, 96%. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we are done with Steam CMD. Let's just close out of there. All right, so uh, a couple things. Uh, the, the Hurt World devs are pretty nice in the fact that they give you this wonderful uh, this wonderful batch file to, uh, to go ahead and start your server. Um, the only thing I'm really going to change in here right now is just unconfigured, and we're going to call this to uh, looks super awesome tutorial server. Okay, cool. We'll leave it like that. And uh, the other, another thing you want to do is this uh, auto exec default uh, underscore or wow auto exec underscore default dot config. Uh, what we're going to do is just copy this so we have a default copy. We're going to copy the copy. There's a lot of copy there. Okay, got our, uh, our copy, and then we're going to rename this to just the uh, autoexec.cfg. Now, this is important because, let me bring this over. Uh, this part isn't important, but we need to make sure that once we get into our server, we can actually admin the server. So in order to do that, we are going to open up uh, open up your browser and go to steamid.io and what we're going to do here is look up our uh, steamid64 so you can see I've already looked myself up here and uh, this is your steamid64 right here so you need to grab whatever number it is for you you don't want to use my number because that'll just give me you know access or uh, admin access to your server and uh, put that into you want to put that number into the uh, auto exec and right in front of that you want to do add admin and then just put a space so it'll be add admin and then your ID there make sure that you save it and 
close out. We're good there. And then, let's see, we already made the changes to our batch file, so we're good there. Now we need to open up some ports in our firewall so that our friends can play with us. So, firewall. So we'll open up Windows Firewall with advanced security. And once we are in, we will go ahead and we will create some new firewall rules. And we only need to do inbound rules. Um, let's do port, TCP. We're going to do uh, 12871. And also, we are going to do 12881. We're going to allow the connection from any of these areas. And we'll just call it Hurt World. Don't need to go do anything crazy. Now remember, uh, for those two ports, you're also going to have to open those up in your um, in your router if you want your friends to play. This is only allowing it through the uh, through the machine that you're running the server on, not the firewall. So do that in your firewall. Um, or sorry, forward them. You don't need to just forward the ports in your firewall. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and we will launch our uh, host batch file here. And uh, we'll just give it a second, but that will uh, essentially launch this executable right here and tell it that it is a server and we should name it super awesome tutorial server. We are set up as admins right now, so let's go ahead and launch Hurt World. Ah, there we go. So once you are here, if you have the ports um, set up in your firewall, forward in your firewall, you'll be able to go in and, uh, and search for your server. You can just type in you know, whatever your name is and it will pop up. Uh, because I didn't forward the ports and because this is only a tutorial, um, I'm going to press F1 and uh, I'm connecting locally on the machine anyway. So we're just going to go do connect and then you want to put in the IP address for your server. Again, you don't want to use this IP address because this is not the uh, is not the uh, IP address for your server. I mean, unless it is, but uh, if you need to know how to find your IP address, open up a command prompt and just type ipconfig. That's going to be your top one here. Should be your top one. It could be different, but uh, just Ethernet adapter, and that is my IP address for this machine. So uh, anyway. So uh, connect space IP address uh, colon and then the port number where you're we're set up on 12 wow 12871 let's try that and uh, hit enter and you'll see uh, looks like it's going to connect it says it's connecting at least so hopefully it's not lying to me It looks like some other stuff is happening. It's loading the level, so I'm going to press F1 again to get rid of the console. I don't need that window anymore. We should get in here. There we go. So now I'm in game on my own server. And just to make sure that I'm also set up as an admin, we are going to, uh, we're just going to try a little admin command. We're going to, uh, G is just give. Uh, we're going to do item ID 52, I don't even know what that is. We're going to give myself 100. Ah, rifle bullets. So you see rifle bullets popped up in my inventory, which means I am all set to admin my server. So um, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Remember to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching, and uh, if you want to play some Hurt World with me, take a look at the uh, information below. I've got a brand new server up, it's got some awesome plugins, and uh, an awesome admin, because that's me. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there. Thanks again.